Hello, this is Ole Henrik Sjelstad. I shot this image in Romsdal in June this year, but I missed my sun star. The sun is around here somewhere, but uh, perhaps it was that mist or those clouds which diffused it so much that I didn't get a sun star, or it also may be it might be that it never climbed high enough above this ridge or this edge. So I have to add a sun star manually. And I'm going to use Topaz, the plugin star effects. And usually that plugin will place sun stars everywhere it finds a highlight. We can of course adjust that with the help of a brush or adjust the threshold, but to make things easier for me, I always do it like this. First I add a blank layer, the black as my foreground color, I will fill it with black, alt, delete. I will take down the opacity on that black layer, because now I'm going to place my point where I would like the sun. So we need white as our foreground color, brush 100%, we have to make it smaller, and perhaps I would like my sun star there. And back to 100%, control zero for full screen, and now I can launch the plugin. So we go to filter, focus labs, and star effects. Oh, there we are. Just where I wanted it. But I would like to have a traditional star. And uh, we need perhaps 12 or 14 points. Let's say we want to go for 12. Uh, let's adjust the luminance. What happens then? No, absolutely not. Perhaps something like that? No, it's smaller. There we are. Size? Yeah, perhaps something like that. Angle is okay. Number of points. Let's see what happens when we just spread. <laughs> no, no, no. No, that's too real. Perhaps something like that. Color adjustments, it's way too red. So we have to work with the saturation and temperature until we find something. If I take down saturation, it will become more yellow. And temperature also will take it more to the yellow side. Uh, never touch these. Additional effects. Perhaps you can reduce the glow or add more glow. Secondary points, never. Ring flare, never. When I'm happy, I click OK. So now we just have to wait a little. My computer isn't super fast, and particularly not today. So we just have to wait. Ah, there we are. Perfect. Uh, but now everything is black. Well, we can try some blend modes. Green. Or lighten. Perhaps lighten was the best option in this case. But I feel the sun star is too small. Perhaps I would like to make it larger. Well, we grab the rectangular marquee tool. There. Control T for free transform. And now I never remember. Is it Alt I have to press or is it Shift? Let's try Alt. Yeah, it's Alt, I believe. Now it moved a little, but we can fix that. There we are. Okay. Control D to deselect. Sometimes these uh, um, arms are too sharp 
and we can easily fix that by adding filter blur just some Gaussian blur perhaps around seven pixels will soften things before or after much better final thing I this sunstar is too red so we can easily fix that by for example grabbing a curves clip it down to the layer below go to the blue channel blue and yellow are opposites and drag the blue down ah. yellow perhaps too yellow can reduce it control zero uh, well this isn't perfect but you get my drift and the final thing i will do is another blank layer set to screen i will pick my brush pressing down alt and pick one of the colors in the sun star something like that enlarge the brush and add some light Perhaps too much, and then we can reduce the opacity. Before and after. And uh, if you want to be really advanced, you can perhaps go to this layer with the sun star, add a white layer mask, click the brush, make it really small, perhaps something like that. There. Reduce the opacity, click, and press down the shift key, and then you get a straight line. So, this isn't perfect, uh, but it gives you an idea how, on how you can, for example, split these uh, uh, arms or whatever they are called in English. So, I didn't like it set but uh, I have control set again but anyway that's of course also a possibility well that was all thank you